Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on limit comparison test part 1 continuum. Just have a quick recap. If we have two positive term series, summation un and summation vn, when limit n tends to infinity, un by vn should be some finite L. It should not be equal to 0 as well as plus or minus infinity. It should be finite other than 0. If this condition satisfies, then we say summation un and vn converge together or diverge together. We say this as L. CT limit comparison test. Now we are going to solve this problem. As usual, step 1 consider the given problem as summation un. Now we have to find the nth term un for the given problem. So we have to find the nth term on the numerator first. In the numerator, we have 1, 2, 3, etc. So 1, 2, 3, etc. My nth term is obviously n or you can go for arithmetic progression formula. My a is 1, the difference is 1, therefore my nth term is 1 plus n minus 1 into 1 that is going to be simply n. This is done. Next, when you go for the denominator, I have to see 1, 3, 5, etc. This is the first data in the denominator. So when I go for the nth term, I can write my a is equal to 1 and the difference is 2. So my nth term is 1 plus n minus 1 into 2. So we get 2n minus 2 plus 1. Therefore, my nth term is 2n minus 1. And we can see the second term is going to be 3, 5, 7, etc. So we don't want to find the second term because I can just find my nth term very easily since both red and yellow data are same. If I add the different, I will be getting the nth term for the second data. That is going to be 2n plus 1. So my un is going to be numerator n, denominator 2n minus 1 and 2n plus 1. Now it's my job to take n outside. If I take n outside from the denominator, we get n into 2 minus 1 by n, then n into 2 plus 1 by n. Now I can cancel this n and then we can write un as 1 by n into 2 minus 1 by n and 2 plus 1 by n. When limit n tends to infinity, this term will become 2 minus 0 and the second term will become 2 plus 0. So it's not going to affect the problem. But the only term which affects the problem is 1 by n. When I apply infinity, it will become 0. So my 1 by n is the trouble giving term. I am taking this as vn. Now let us find un by vn. Now let us apply infinity. We get 1 divided by 2 minus 0 into 2 plus 0. That is going to be 1 by 4. Very important. It is not equal to 0. Next we have to consider the vn. So take summation vn is equal to summation 1 by n. And we know the result summation 1 by n power p converges if p greater than 1. Therefore, summation 1 by n diverges. If summation 1 by n diverges, then automatically Vn is divergent. By limit comparison test, we can easily say if Vn is diverging, then summation Un also diverging. Therefore, the given series is divergent series. Done. Now, let us see one more problem. There is a slight modification in example 3. Test to the convergence of the series. In example 3, we have 1, 3, 3, 5, 5, 7. But here, we have different numbers. And it is not necessary always the numbers will be in the same pattern. For example, see this problem. In the denominator, the first data is 1, 3, 5. So it follows arithmetic progression. But the second data, 4, 7, 10. It is different. This is also following arithmetic progression. But these two data are different. Every time, it is not necessary that we get the same pattern of data. We can get different pattern of data. So let us solve this problem. As usual, let us take summation un, the given problem. Now it's time to find the nth term. In the numerator, we have 1, 2, 3, etc. We can see this easily. The nth term is n. Done. When we go for the denominator, the first data is 1, 3, 5. So just now in the previous problem, we found the nth term is 2n minus 1. Now we have to deal for the second data that is nothing but 4, 7 and 10. We have to find the nth term for this. Here a is 4, the difference is 3. So tn is equal to 
a plus n minus 1 into d that is going to be 4 plus n minus 1 into 3. So we get 3n minus 3 plus 4. Therefore, my nth term is 3n plus 1. un is going to be n divided by 2n minus 1 and 3n plus 1. Hope you understand. So the data need not to be follow the same arithmetic progression. It may be having different data, even different progressions. Now, as usual, take n in the denominator and we can cancel with the numerator n and we can write un as 1 divided by n into 2 minus 1 by n into 3 plus 1 by n. Now, when n tends to infinity, this term will give 2 minus 0 and the next term will give 3 plus 0. So, these two terms are not affecting the problem. The only trouble giving term is 1 by n. So, let us take vn as 1 by n. Now, un by vn is going to be very simple. When you apply infinity, we can get 1 divided by 2 minus 0 into 3 plus 0. So, that is going to be 1 by 6 and it is not equal to 0. Therefore, the first step gets over. We can proceed further. Now, we take the summation vn as summation 1 by n. Then, the result we can easily compare summation 1 by n power p converges if p greater than 1. According to this result, summation 1 by n is divergent. So, summation vn is diverging. Then by limit comparison test, we can say if summation vn is diverging, then summation un is also diverging. So, we conclude the given series is a divergent series. Hope you understand. Next, let us see some different problem. So, if you get square root in your problem like this, it is very easy. Just think a little. As usual, step 1, summation un is equal to, write the whole question. Now, numerator everywhere, it is going to be 1. Therefore, my nth term is also 1. When we go for denominator, we have to think little. We have root 10, root 20, root 30, etc. We can simply write this as 1 into 10, 2 into 10, 3 into 10 etc. Here 10 is common everywhere. The only changing data is 1, 2, 3. So it is very easy to find the nth terms. So I can simply consider this as 1, 2, 3 etc. At the end I can put square root. So my nth term is n because we see all these things in our previous problem. So I'm writing directly. Here for this the nth term is root 10 into root n. Therefore my un is 1 divided by root 10 into root n. Now it's going to be very simple. The trouble giving term is 1 by root n. Let me consider vn is 1 by root n. Then un by vn is simply 1 by root 10. So it is not equal to 0. So we can easily proceed. Now we can see summation vn is equal to summation 1 by root n or 1 by n power 1 by 2. According to our result, if p greater than 1, it converges. But here, the p value is 1 by 2. That is less than or equal to 1. Obviously, summation vn diverges. If summation vn is diverging, then by limit comparison test, summation un is also diverging. Therefore, we say the series is diverging series. In the similar way, now let us see one more problem for more clarity. Here we have two terms, square root of 1 plus square root of 2. As usual, take summation un as the given problem and we can find the nth term. So numerator as 1 everywhere, my nth term is 1. Denominator, it is having like root 1 plus root 2, comma root 2 plus root 3, etc. So we have to consider term by term. First, let us consider the first term. Don't bother about the square root. You see here 1, 2, 3, etc. So my nth term is n. When you go for the second, we have 2, 3, 4. So it is just the same. So the next term is going to be n plus 1. Therefore, my nth term is going to be root n plus root n plus 1. So I can write un very easily. 1 divided by square root of n plus square root of n plus 1. So don't worry about the square root. Just keep at the end we can add it. Now as usual we have to take n outside. The first term we keep root n as it is. Then in the second term taking n out we get n into 1 plus 1 by n. Now I can take this root n in common and when we try to apply limit n tends to infinity, this term will not be affecting my problem because it will give 1 plus square root of 1 plus 0. So it is going to be 1 plus 1. 
2, so it will not affect the problem. Only the trouble giving term is 1 by root 10. So we take Vn as 1 by root 10 and then applying infinity, we get 1 by 2 that is not equal to 0. So we have to analyze summation Vn. Summation Vn is going to be summation 1 by n power 1 by 2. By this result, we can easily say it is diverging because here the p value is 1 by 2 that is less than or equal to 1. Therefore, by limit comparison test, the given series is divergent series. And you can practice the similar problem, but here it is different. The first data 1, 2, 3, so you get the nth term n, but the second data in the denominator is 1, 3, 5. For this, we have to find the nth term that is nothing but 2n minus 1. So we can easily write the nth term as 1 by root 10 plus square root of 2n minus 1. And as usual, like the previous problem, we can proceed and the trouble giving term is this 1 by root 10. So let us take this as vn and then finding un by vn and applying limit n tends to infinity, we get 1 plus 1 by and we get 1 divided by 1 plus root 10. 2, but this is not equal to 0. So we can proceed further and when we analyze Vn using the result, we get P equal to 1 by 2 which is less than or equal to 1. Then by limit comparison test, we get the given series is divergent series. Hope this 3-4 problems which we did in the session gives you more confident to solve problems in this kind. Hope you understand students. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.